Florida is a great place to garden for wildlife. In the state, we have over 170 varieties of butterflies, and they occur throughout the entire state. So no matter where you live, an urban area or a rural area, you can attract a wide variety of butterflies right to your doorstep. And the container garden is great because you don't have to have a lot of space. You, in a matter of a couple hours, you can create a wonderful habitat to attract butterflies right to your backyard, right up to your window, to easily observe and enjoy their beauty. Today, we're going to start a butterfly container garden. And before we get to the actual planning portion, I want to introduce some of the various component parts that you'll need to have on hand for this about a one hour project or so. The first is a good bag of potting soil. It's something that you can pick up at any garden center, Lowe's, Home Depot, doesn't matter, just a good bag of quality potting soil. Next is a, a fairly sizable container to house about four or five one gallon plants. And then we have a series of butterfly attracting plants and they're divided into two main types. All butterflies have a four part life cycle. They start out life as an egg, the eggs hatch into caterpillars, caterpillars molt into pupae and the pupae uh, emerge as adult butterflies. And in order to accommodate the lifestyles of all butterflies, we need to have both nectar plants for the adult butterflies because all butterflies feed on sugary rich flower nectar. We also need to have certain plants that will accommodate the feeding of the larvae, the growing larvae. So we need to have larval host plants as well. And a good combination of both of those will be appropriate for any container butterfly garden. That way you attract the adult butterflies to come in, lay eggs on your plants. You can experience the entire life cycle of butterfly right on your back doorstep. And so the plants that I have chosen today are five plants. And first of all, we have tropical milkweed. This is a, a great dual role plant. It has beautiful flowers for the adult butterflies to feed on. And then the leaves are utilized by at least two butter butterflies we have in Florida, the monarch and the queen. So this will be both an adult nectar plant as well as a larval host plant. The second plant is purple trailing lantana. And this is a very common, readily accessible plant you can buy at any no local nursery. And it's a great nectar source for most butterflies. It also has a weeping habit so it'll easily cascade over the side of a container, providing a nice floral display. The third plant is bronze fennel. This is an attractive kind of herb that you can include in any container garden. It's uh, a beautiful, provides a nice backdrop, but also is a larval host plant for the black swallowtail butterfly. The fourth plant is anise hyssop. This is a wonderful, ideal nectar plant that'll bring in butterflies and bees and other wasps onto the plant very, very readily and has these wonderful spires of purple-blue flowers throughout the entire summer. And the last plant is tropical sage. This is a wonderful plant for both attracting butterflies as well as hummingbirds. The long tubular blossoms will provide great opportunity for butterflies and hummingbirds to come right to your container garden to feed. So I'll go ahead and include all of these into the butterfly garden. When you choose the plants, you also want to keep in mind that they grow differently. We have some plants that grow tall, we have some plants that weep over the side, so you have a variety of different forms of growth in your container. So the more variety of forms you have, the more attractive your container will be. Well, these are two of the species that you can easily attract with this particular container garden. The green caterpillar right there is the caterpillar of the eastern black swallowtail butterfly that'll feed on the fennel. And this smaller one is a a younger queen butterfly larva that would feed on the milkweed. To plant the garden, I'll start with adding to the, to the container the soil. And again, you want to choose any good quality garden potting soil, which you can readily buy at any local nursery or garden center. And you want to fill the pot about halfway full of the soil so you leave room to accommodate the root balls of the plants you want to include into your container. You want to just gently firm down the soil so there's no air pockets in the container. And then fill in behind it a little bit more. So the next step is just simply removing them from their container. They may require a little bang from the bottom there. And then take the container out knows that they have very well developed roots. What you might want to do is just break up the root ball a little bit with your hand so that gives the plant a very good start and then we can place it into the larger container.
and you can adjust them a little bit as they're getting ready to go in there. And once you're satisfied with the overall appearance, then we can start taking additional soil and backfilling around the individual root balls of the plants. And we can adjust a little bit in height if we need to. And uh, pretty much this plant is, planter is ready to attract butterflies almost immediately. And with a little bit of water and a little bit of care, this will be a productive butterfly garden for the entire year. Now that your container garden is complete, you can basically sit back and enjoy all the butterflies coming to your individual container. And that your larval host plants are there to be eaten. So if you start seeing the leaves disappearing or feeding damage on those individual plants, keep in mind that's a good thing. Your garden is being utilized. Now you can basically sit back, enjoy all the butterflies that are coming to your container. You may wish to buy a field guide so you can readily identify all those butterflies. But basically sit back, enjoy, and uh, welcome to the wonderful world of butterfly gardening.